Welcome to Crossroads, a monthly video providing you with an insight into your local American Red Cross and also bringing you some valuable information for you and your family to stay safe. Hi, welcome to the American Red Cross. My name is Janice Osborne and today I'd like to give you a tour of our facility and have you meet some of the people who work here at the Red Cross. Come on in. John Tews, I am the Regional Executive for the American Red Cross which means I have responsibility for the operations of Red Cross in the Greater Lehigh Valley, which encompasses Lehigh, Northampton, and Carbon Counties. In addition, I have a regional responsibility, which covers Berks County, Monroe County, and Schuylkill Counties as well. Those are three separate chapters which are part of this region, and so they report up to me, and I'm responsible for coordination of efforts throughout that entire region. Everything that we do I'm responsible for from the standpoint of making sure it's happening. That is meeting our mission, and that is uh, assisting people in times of disaster, uh, helping people in other crises such as military families or in our service to the armed forces program. I'm responsible in making sure that we are uh, out in the community uh, doing uh, safety training and continues to expand and that blood is being collected to help meet the needs of, of hospital patients. Uh, now beyond, and that's not just limited to one community. That's across the entire country because if, if somebody in one community is not getting the services they need, then we as an organization have failed. And so we need to pull together as a team and all parts of this organization to do what we need to do to meet the mission. I'm Bob Dorgan, I'm the Chief Operating Officer with the American Red Cross here in the Greater Lehigh Valley. I have a variety of responsibilities and I truly do feel like I probably have the best job in the Greater Lehigh Valley. Uh, I work with so many wonderful people and what my job entails is I'm responsible as a Chief Operating Officer for a lot of the day-to-day -day activities that take place here at the Red Cross. Good morning American Red Cross. How may I direct your call? Some of which would be the front desk, people coming in, people calling on the telephone, receptions, administrative support staff, also the facility itself uh, as well as the tenants in the building. Probably one of my biggest responsibilities is uh, is dealing with volunteers and, and affording people the opportunity to be a part of the Red Cross and Red Cross family and uh, dealing with people that are interested in providing help to the Red Cross because we only are as good as the, the community that supports us. We are also a regional chapter here and we touched probably over 70 some thousand people last year in some way, shape or form. And as a regional chapter we have a responsibility for our community chapters, our neighboring chapters as well. So we also provide them with help and support as necessary. When disaster does strike, uh, it does not discriminate in any way, shape or form and the Red Cross is there to help those victims. And our staff and our volunteers that uh, we're all here and we all do the same thing and we serve the same common purpose and goal and that is to help other people. And that's probably where I would kind of feel my biggest responsibilities lie. I am Sandy Gasper. I'm the Director of Development here at the Red Cross for fundraising. What it entails is everything in fundraising. Everything to raise money for the Red Cross so we can provide all of our services that we do here free of charge. The disaster assistance, the emergency services, the services to the armed forces, all of that is free of charge and it does take money. And we go out to a disaster on an average once every three days and we help those people no matter who they are, no matter where they are, any time of the day or night. And a lot of it is done with volunteers. It entails a department of three. Because this is really beneficial to the heroes so they see what their benefits are. We have two development associates, myself and Anna Vega and Lisa Rossi. Together we do everything to raise money. And that can be anything from plan giving, online fundraising, all of our campaigns, our special events, writing grants, uh, doing third-party fundraisers, and that is where people on the outside, groups, individuals, churches, anyone, can do a fundraiser for the Red Cross and help us out that way. Here in the Lehigh Valley, Red Cross has been here over 90 years, and we have in that time developed a lot of donors. We have in our database about 50,000 names of people who have donated to us over the years. When a disaster happens, they do open their hearts. And if they know about it, they're opening their house, hearts and giving donations. My name is Cordelia Miller. I'm the Director of Emergency Services for the Greater Lehigh Valley Chapter of the American Red Cross. I direct the following services. Disaster service, which is the Red Cross's way of helping people during a disaster. 
military services where we work directly with families of military personnel to get them emergency leave when there is an emergency in the family to assist them with financial needs. We also have an international program where we have people coming in to us to look for relatives who might be in refugee camps. Also, we still have a very large Holocaust survivors program that we work with. Well, it entails for us disaster services plans prepares for and responds to disaster. And we do this by working with other agencies. We drill, we practice, so that when these emergencies occur, we're not saying, oh, we've got to get together and have a meeting. There is a plan. But we're also involved with local governments concerning what we would consider community crisis. And that could be anything from H1N1 virus, or it could be a hazardous material spill in which we might have to evacuate you know, large numbers of people. We're worldwide, and we are one of the agencies that people look to in times of trouble. I'm Jennifer Castellano. I'm the Territory Sales Manager for the Northeastern Territory of the Red Cross. I have a staff of four salespeople working for me. The territory, when I say Northeast Territory, that encompasses Wilkes-Barre, Scranton, and then our region here, which is the eastern central Pennsylvania region, that includes Berks, Monroe, um, Lehigh, and Carbon counties. We have salespeople um, covering that entire area that are soliciting companies that need training for their workplace. We do classes anywhere from babysitting classes, which are targeted for children ages 11 to 15. So a lot of times we try to get those into the schools into church and youth groups where those services are really needed. Um, the CPR and AED and first aid classes, a lot of companies need those. And so we offer that class, CPR and AED by itself, first aid by itself, or all three together, as well as the professional rescuer. I love when we can do something like that because the people truly appreciate it. And I know that what we're bringing them is something that's going to do good for others. Well, I hope that you enjoyed your tour and the opportunity to meet some of the people here at the American Red Cross. You're welcome to come back at any time. Next month, join us on Crossroads when we talk about home heating safety, how you can keep you and your family safe during the winter season. <laughs>